Alright guys, there's a brand new update out in Grand RP and we're going to be going over some of the new content we got. Now, not all of the content is in the test server at the moment, so some of it will still be a surprise to you when you actually load in to the main English servers or whatever server you end up playing on. Let's kick things off right away by saying, boom, we got a new car right here, right behind me. It's a beautiful, can't remember the name, Lamborghini Revolto SVJ. $35 million car and it looks pretty damn nice, does it not? Let's take a look at the battle pass, because everybody's going to be hyped about that. Level 1, this is what it looks like, pretty shit. Level 2, I do like this, that Grand Coin Mask has been revamped a little bit. The female version actually has golden spikes on it, which looks really cool. Moving down here, we have Prime, and actually I do need to say something about Prime in just a little bit. Over here, nothing crazy. We get new horns as well, which is pretty decent, I guess. We got some pretty nice looking pants here, probably gonna end up wearing those as soon as possible. Nice little jacket, we got another GTA car which kinda sucks, we actually have a real C8 Corvette which is nice, more Prime. We got a beautiful Porsche here, more Prime, Heavy Sniper Mark II, this car as well, which is from the boss fights. Now this is where things change, the Battle Pass actually only goes to level 60 for the normal version, unless it's just glitched out in the test server, but after this, it's only the Premium Pass. And you get some Yeezys, some more Prime, nothing crazy, nothing crazy, another GTA car. And then we can actually get the freaking Torador. Now, if you guys don't know, this is a submarine. It's freaking awesome, and you can get it at level 90. I'm not 100% sure if there's going to be more levels added or not, but we will have to wait and see. That is pretty much the battle pass. So, now that we're done with that, let's take a look at the auction. Things have changed. They finally listened to me. Said it a long time ago. They've done it now. You can now put your own houses and business up on the auction. There is a 20% commission though, which really sucks because I believe right now it's 5 or 10%. So, you know, if you have a house that's worth $55 million, you're going to end up losing $11 million. Now there's also this thing called the Secret Millionaire Auction, which is pretty much just for people that want to use Grand Coins. So uh, you can get these really cool Rolls Royce Spectres or Spectres or whatever they're called. Um, and you pretty much just bid Grand Coins on them. And they are, I believe, one of ones. Like this one would be a one of one. This one is obviously the exact same as these, but you might be able to get extremely rare vehicles, like something like the Finnear Super Sport, which I have, or maybe the Rolls-Royce Phantom. You never know. And then there's some other stuff as well. Obviously, the free car that we get is a Jaguar something. Can't remember the name, but you get it after playing for 50 hours. We have a couple days of free Grand Coins, which is great. There's also a couple other things added, like crates, for example. Let's take a look here. Custom body armor. You don't just get the armor one time. This is a permanent skin on your armor. So you can get some pretty cool stuff. I need to actually go buy armor to show it to you. And even if I do, it'll only be this one that I'll get. There's a 10% chance of you getting it though, which is very good. Considering looking at everything else, it's one of the highest chances in this crate, which is awesome. So if you want some armor, there's a pretty good chance you'll actually get it. We also have some other vehicles like the Ennis Boat Tail, which is obviously a Rolls Royce. The one that was currently in the game, I believe looked uglier. This one looks pretty freaking nice, I'm not gonna lie. We then have an Acura NSX. Once again, very clean looking car. This I really want, the Mercedes-Benz X-Class 6x6. This looks like an absolute beast. 1% chance of you getting it. We then have a Huracan Evo 2. Once again, pretty nice looking car. We have the Phantom Mansory Edition, which looks so much nicer than the regular Phantom. Like, damn, that shit looks clean. We then have the Spectre Crate as well. We have the Coil EHS9. I don't even know what car this is in real life, but it looks kind of cool. And then the last crate we got was the Revolto crate, which is a beautiful car, which of course is the one that is sitting behind me right now. Now, there's also another thing that was added to the bosses. There is now Boss XP. Sadly, I already killed the global boss, and I actually ended up winning the Revolto from that, which is pretty nice. But if you go to personal bosses, you level up, and you'll be able to fight some different types of bosses, like these ones down here, that gives you this stuff. So if you click fight, I'm sadly I'm not able to win it right now because it's guaranteed odds in the test server, but you get some cool stuff. I believe this is automated oil production. I'm pretty sure you get a mining drill here too, and maybe a couple other little things, which is pretty nice. And of course there are new cars here as well. So let's just go ahead and kill this boss. What car is this? I don't even know what car that is, but I mean, it looks cool. So yeah, there's some new cars that we can get, which is freaking sick. Family ones I can't look at because I'm not in a family on the test server, but if we keep scrolling through here, we got a BMW M3 wagon, I believe. I can't even tell what that is. This is a Toyota RAV4. I believe that's $11 million state value car as well. You got a Chiron right here. You got a Rolls-Royce Cullinan, another BMW. Some pretty nice looking stuff. I'm not going to lie. What else was there? Oh yes, treasure. So we have regular, common, 
and then the battle treasure. Now, I'm not too sure exactly what you get from this because even in the test server, it's not working properly right now, so I can't even go and collect it, but it's active every hour, and the first person to get there gets the treasure. It could be something insane, it might not be. From all of these, we just get desert scarf crates, Maybe from this you get a guaranteed desert scarf, you never know. I'm gonna try not to showcase everything because I do want you guys to join the server and go and experience everything yourselves. The one thing I'm trying to figure out is how I'm actually able to get the mining drill and the automated oil production and that kind of stuff without having to do boss fights. If there's a way to do that, that would be awesome. Let me just show you a couple of the cars that actually spawn in. I believe there's only two that are working right now in the test server. So it was that Revolto that we were just driving and then there is also the Spectre which works as of right now spawn that thing in. This is a beautiful Rolls Royce. The front end isn't my favorite thing in the entire world, but uh, side profiles, it's looking nice. It's looking pretty nice. I still prefer the Wraith, but you know what? This is this is looking pretty clean. I'm not too sure what this is. Um, I don't know if that's new or not, but um, we can create something. Plates for body armor. I don't know if that's new or not. It might be new. It's only 10 metal. I'm pretty sure there were a couple other things that I looked at, but I just completely forgot about them right now. I'm not too sure why. The one thing I am a bit disappointed about is the fact that the Battle Pass ends at level 90, and people without the premium version can't get higher than level 60, I guess, which isn't the best thing in the entire world. If you guys go to shop and you purchase Prime, either regular or premium Prime, you'll actually get it in your inventory, and you could then sell this Prime to somebody. And just like that, we got another 30 days of Prime. Or you could sell it, like I said, worth how much 40 grand coins so i don't know how much that would be worth but you guys could do what you wanted with that the prime you get from the battle pass i'm not 100 percent sure if you actually are able to trade that or not you might be able to you might not be but anyways that is pretty much all the content i'm able to show you right now you will have to load in to your favorite grand rp server in order to see the rest of it and i wish all of you luck when it comes to that new treasure thing be sure to shoot me a message on discord letting me know what that prize actually is because I have no idea what it is and apparently it is really, really cool. So let me know if any of you get it or comment down below if you know what it is. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you guys have a lot of fun with the new update.